Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev. This is Elite Dangerous. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to make some quick money when you first start out in the game. Now I do got to give some credit to my buddy Web Ferret. He did show me the in general idea of it. I did some few modifications to take and make sure that you're making money as fast as possible. I've been testing this out and it works damn good. So, it does not matter what kind of ship that you are in or what kind of firepower that you have. This will get you the better ships, get you the better firepower. So, jump to your galaxy map. And basically, you want to be looking for any systems. We'll load up the system app that I'm in. What you want to do is you want to be looking for any systems that have rings around the planets. We're going to be going after the high resource. Um, high resources in those areas. So, see here I got three planets. I've already got one highlighted I'm going to head on into. But, this is what you want to look for. Is you want to look for these planets. And like I said... That's in your system map, galaxy map. You can go through that, or if you jump into a new system, it all depends. Anyways, what you want to look for is this high intensity resource extraction site because we gonna be going dog fighting. So, now, a few things you wanna keep in mind when you're approaching it. Since Elite Dangerous is a game that does do all of the physics in space, you have gravitational things that will slow you down. So, when approaching the high intensity resource extraction site, you want to try and come at it from a 90 degree angle so you're not flying over rings and you're not flying um, close to the planet. So you see how I'm trying to come in here at the 90 degree angle if at all possible to the planet so that way it doesn't pull you can see how I'm slowing down here so it does not uh, slow me down any more than absolutely necessary because there's nothing more boring in an elite than getting caught in a gravitational pull and it taking forever to get out of it so And if you, and this goes so far up to the, the advice I'm about ready to give, to the Vulture, which is what I'm currently flying in this episode, you do not have to hit your J key again to disengage your Super Cruise, because we are in Super Cruise. You can basically just slam it into the site as close as possible. And you want to, because otherwise it can toss you out a ways. And it takes a bit to get there. You know, and again, this is, you know, about time management. We want to get in there fast, hard, and dirty. So, we're going to get in there fast, hard, and dirty. Now, again, you can keep trying to come in at a 90 degree angle. It also helps for the way that we're going to be coming in. You guys will see in a sec here but again it doesn't matter what weapons you have doesn't matter what ship up to the vulture this is that's as far as I've tested it and for my um, what my buddy uh, web ferret says is he's used this technique or a version of it to see now we're just gonna ignore that safe distance ready as Captain Scorponite likes to slam and jam folks Hold on to your butts. Ah, uh, well, uh, it's not too bad. We won't be too far out. God, I love the sound of these ships. All right. So you want to get yourself into the center of the high-intensity resource site. And then I will show you what to do from there. We'll be back in one second once I find what I am looking for. So hold on, folks. We'll be back in one second. All righty, guys. We're back. So one thing that you're going to want to do as you come in. 
and I won't kill anybody I'm gonna put the old lasers away here but you're gonna want to be scanning every ship that you come that you see now the ships that you're gonna want to be on the side of you can see he's green that's because I've killed a lot in this area but you're gonna want to look for whatever internal security force that there is they have various different names but you basically want to be on the side of the police and you can see he's getting lit up it's a two-on-one and he's got a sidewinder on him and he's got an Imperial Eagle so this is the kind of situation if you have one of the starter ships you're gonna wanna wait you wanna wait until his buddies show up and one's coming you can see on the radar you see two green guys coming in so I think that means we can go ahead and engage here and get us a little something something. And of course you do want to make sure <laughs> that you set your weapons up and you got your power distribution going pretty good. And there we go, that's what I like. I like to boost somewhat. Oh, good. Now, when you're first starting out, woohoo, there we go, 12 Gs. That was nothing. Whoa! Almost got hit. Yep. Make sure you definitely make sure you're targeting the correct guy. Oh, he's not long for this world. Asta. Target destroyed. Right. Now I hear more combat going on. That's something you definitely want to do is make sure you do have your sound turned up so you can hear who's fighting where. Again, scan, see who's who. This one's a viper. You can see we got all these other ships around us. Oh, he's not long for this world either. Whoa! And you will get bumped and rubbed because everybody's trying to get position on this guy. Okay. Now, it looks like, I'm not quite sure yet, We're go I'm going to... See if we get anything bigger come through. I just had one that had uh, a bunch of anacondas in it, which was awesome. Because, and the things to keep in mind, I'm gonna stop here and talk to such, is that things to keep in mind is that it's what's known as an instance, right? So every time you come into this, it resets, and you get um, either all small ships, small and medium ships. Or big ships so far those are the three that I've seen consistently there might be more but those are the ones that I've seen consistently there we go give you guys something to watch all right anyway so so there's first there's that next you need to make sure that you watch your shots if another one of these green ships happens to fly in front of me while I'm shooting I will get a fine and that means I got a GFO because everybody will turn on you because you'll immediately turn wanted so you gotta make sure you watch your shots okay now and that's the one I do I man I'll get so into playing and going after killing stuff I just had somebody come rise right up in front of me right up in front of me as I was just on a dude 400, 400 credits, boom, I had the GFO. Um, I have been killed more than once because in the smaller ships, if you hit somebody, you're dead. Now, I'm in a vulture, and this thing can take some damage, so I don't have to quite worry about it as much as I did before. But, and we'll go join these guys again up here. If you are in a smaller ship, all you have to do, 
and I'll show you guys here once we find a group to fight is tag the ship and then wait you've got to stay close oh hey look we're going after this group okay so all I'm gonna do is pop on in here okay see I turned him red hit him a couple of times now all you have to do is in general stay with the pack keep it under two and a half kilometers stay out of this guy's way because if you tag him and then one of the other ships tags him immediately afterwards right so you want to make sure he's under fire when you tag him he will key in on those other guys see now I can follow him till the days come to him and he's not going to shoot at me because he's he's keying after the other ships Oh, come on, guys. The shields are going to go back on. Sometimes the AI is not the best when it comes to attacking. Fun part is following these guys around. You'll see them, uh, the green guys, you see them bounce off asteroids all the time. And, you know, that's, that's the AI. But for what it is, the AI, from what my understanding, has gotten a lot better than it used to be. So you see how he's still keying in on other guys. He's not coming after me. Now, if I was to go in here and light him up, he would be all over me. At some point, they're going to go after him. Somebody's shooting at him. Oh, somebody else got blown up. A lot of times... Yeah, there we go. Now the whole group's going after him. That's usually what it seems to be like, is they pick one of the groups of three or four or five or how many of your ships. Everybody converges on it. Boom, and there you go. And he wasn't, I didn't have him, oh, dang it. Boom, there you go, see that? We got our, we got a thing, we kept, we have to, you have to keep him in your sights, and like I said, under two and a half clicks. So, all right, folks, so now, I am going to take and go on a killing rampage. And I am going to give you guys a bunch of highlights of it to just show you how much money that you can do. And when we get done... I'll show you guys. Now this this looks like it's small and medium ships. So the number's not going to be huge. All I'm going to do is I got my little watch right here. And we're going to go for 10 minutes. And I'll see what I can pull up. Alrighty. So right now, we are... Oh, and by the way, if you go into transactions, you can see there's all the money I have. So, we're going to get some. I'll be back, and you guys will see the highlight of me going after killing these guys, and then we'll do money at the end. So, hold on. It's going to get nasty, because I like to fly fast.
Alrighty guys, we're back. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I looked out, I went out of the instance, came back in, which you can do, and I got my hands on a bunch of anacondas. So, the other things you do want to keep in mind, if you do shoot another ship, all you got to do is jump to another area, another system, and then wait out whatever amount of time it is, and then come back. You can see here, ignore the uh, HIP 20806 Industries. That's 10 minutes worth of work. So, we'll go in here. I'll show you where to cash it out. And thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. I have got a couple of really juicy pieces of info to give you. So, 1.1 million for about, well, 10, 15 minutes worth of work. Not too damn bad. Now, if you had any fines, they usually, they're up here. Fines, legally fines, all that. Now, if you do the combat zones, of course, this is where that would be. Go. All right. So, one of the things I did not talk about, but something that you should always keep in mind, is if you look underneath the rankings, I'm competent. Yay. Down to rebuy cost. That is the cost of your ship if it gets blown up. As a standard practice, I like to keep four or five times that amount because I get blown up a lot because I'm constantly testing things and pushing the limits on things. Um, so definitely, definitely keep that in mind. If you do not have that, be very careful with the ships that you tap. Tap just enough ships till you can get it and then GFO. All right, so there you go. You can see you still got that one bounty here. Now there are other things that you can do while you're sitting and you're waiting to smoke these guys. Sub-targets. So while you're there, you can, while well, you've got them highlighted, right? Sub-targets, you can go in, you can go after their power core. Usually that's the best one to go after is their power core. Below that, they got no power. So, makes them very easy targets, sitting in the water dead. That's another tip for you. So there you go, folks. This is how you make easy credits. In, rinse and repeat. I docked at the station. I got my money. I make sure everything's repaired, refueled. Always, of course, make sure your fuel is 100%. Like I said, if you happen to tap somebody by accident, which I do a lot, you're going to have to jump to another system to clear it. So always, as of course, always make sure you're hunting only wanted as well. The ones that are lawless, you don't get no money from. At least not the ones that I've been tapping. So make sure they're wanted. Make sure you don't hit anybody else. And that about do it, folks. As always, I'm the Rev. This has been Elite Dangerous. Now, if you are looking for me in game, I am hanging out in the Mobius group. So if you all know who that is out there, you all want to come by, say hi, maybe get into a video. I would like to do some huge battles at some point. Hopefully, once I can get a hold of the guys, top guys in Mobius, if they have big events like that, we'll be able to do them. I will be having my ship guides coming out here soon as well. I thought I'd do, if you guys have seen my Rebel Galaxy series, and of course I'll put that in the link, or in the little doohickey here, you'll see that I went through and I did all 21 ships in Rebel Galaxy. Well, I'd like to do that for this. I know they're continually adding ships. So, unlike Rebel Galaxy, though, I'll probably start at the beginning with the Sidewinder, be real quick, real basic, show you guys all the weapon systems, how to arm it, the best things I've found to use to arm it until you get into a better ship. And then we'll just do that as we work our way up. I'm going to start working on those real soon here once I get enough money where I can get myself up into an anaconda or something like that. It's going to take a bit. So do keep your eyes open, of course, for that as always. Thank you for watching. And keep your heads down, your guns up, and I shall see you real soon.